Hello and welcome back to another episode of the moon. I'm not where I left off. I did some more mining of camera. Uh, I think at least that's what I did. <laughs> I don't remember. I think I went on a little tour and I gathered up some more materials and left them at the rocket. And then I made my way all the way up here. This is, I think this is the little structure thing that we checked in episode I don't even remember. I think it was episode one or episode two, where we got the e rocks and the stuff. Um, I also figured out that there is, in fact, an Endurium space helmet, uh, and you need to have all pieces of one suit on for it to work. Um, so, yeah, I just didn't see the recipe for the helmets because it's different. Uh, like, all the other armor recipes are basically the vanilla recipe, uh, but the helmets are. Uh, how do I explain this? It's like four pieces of the thing. I can actually do it like this. It's like this. This is the helmet recipe for some reason. <laughs> so I didn't see, like I didn't, I don't know. I was just, I wasn't looking at the, what the actual, what it was said, what it would make. I just was just looking at the recipes, looking for the armor stuff. And I didn't see, I didn't see one that looked like a helmet. <laughs> so I assumed there was no helmet, but there are helmets. All right. So why did I leave? Uh, <laughs> why did I stop right here? You might ask yourself, and uh, this is the reason why there is actually let's pick up all this stuff. I'm not sure how much how much I'm going to need of everything. I don't know how much he'll still just going to be for more endurium, but you know, let's just pick it up while we're here. It definitely doesn't hurt. I still don't have a food supply, which is still, you know, an issue. Um, I definitely want more titanium still. I'm not sure if I have enough, actually. But I think I do, um, for the border system thing. And now we want to go down here and do this. Oh, and there's even more. Perfect. I'm also trying to conserve my drill a little bit. Just a little bit, though. Is there more? No. But we got... Nine Bacrium dust, and there's also something down there. It looks like there's more Bacrium dust. Uh, is there actually water down there for me to jump into, or how am I supposed to get down there? Uh. Oh yeah, there is water. Okay, so we can get down there if we want to, but I don't want to right now. And I hope that, well, I, I locked out right here, after, like I played a little bit after the last recording session, which was basically the first three episodes in a row uh, and now I'm not sure where I where I left off but I'm pretty sure the rocket is this way if it's not then, <laughs> then we might have a problem here um, but yeah I'm pretty sure that this is my my creator right there yeah there's a rocket all right Whew. so I guess I guess we'll make the board assistant thing because it's like the guy said this is important so that's what we'll do and I'm pretty sure I don't need to look up the recipe. I'm pretty sure it was basically the helmet recipe, so four pieces of titanium around one block of bacrium. Um, and yeah, we'll have to make that as well, but we have the dust now, so it should be fine. I still don't have food, as I said. I have no idea how to get more food. But I hope we'll figure that out. Um, I definitely think that I'll have to go exploring a lot more. And maybe this dungeon is not the best one to start off with. Maybe there are some easier dungeons to deal with. Um, but that's definitely, I think there are some areas that I have not explored yet uh, in that dungeon. Uh, definitely some, maybe maybe it's just some connections, um, and there's not much in between, but definitely some hallways that I have not seen yet. So I definitely want to go back and check that out at some point. But I, I think I might want to have, have a, a weapon first. Is that not how you make it? I might have to look up the recipe then. <laughs> Uh, let me see. I was pretty sure that was it. I don't see it. Now, where is it? Oh, where is it? Where is it? Where is it? Uh, board assistant, board assistant. I can't find it. Um, boots, 
helmet. Yeah, I don't. This is not ideal. Uh, oh, there it is. Oh yeah, that's what it is. Did I break my? I, no, I don't think I did. Uh, this should be working, but it's not. I have not used my workbench since I made the helmet, and it worked for the helmet, so I don't think I broke it. Like I, uh, I got a comment on the first episode that told me not to spam the the workbench because it might break it, but I didn't. Like, well, I mean, I did back then, but it worked after that, and now it doesn't. That's that's concerning. I'm not really sure what to do about that now. Uh, oh, I also need the titanium blocks, so maybe let's try and craft one of those. And if that doesn't work either, then my workbench might be broken. No, that works. Maybe... Oh, right, okay, okay, whatever. It works now. I'm pretty sure I can't stack things in here, so I'm not even going to try. <laughs> I don't want to lose 9 titanium. Or more. And there we go. That's the fourth one. And now it's just like this. And the block of Bacrium in the middle. And it's all working. <laughs> um, four blocks of titanium around one block of Bacrium makes support assistance. Yeah, it's not working. Uh, maybe I need to craft something else in between again. Uh, you don't know what I can craft that I don't, that I wouldn't regret <laughs> making. Um, I honestly don't know. I guess I can make a block out of these. Not sure why I would need that, but I can. That's a recipe as well. Okay, maybe. Okay, now it works. Board assistant. Now, actually, what does it do for me? I don't know. It makes a weird sound when I hold it. <laughs> well... That was interesting. I don't know, I'm confused by this. But I have it, I have it, so that's good. Um, actually, let me check the guide <laughs> real quick. Uh, this is not this is not great. I should maybe pause the recording, but I'm too lazy to do that. You'll have to bear with me here. I'll try to make it... I'll try to keep talking, so at least you have something to listen to while, while I'm not actually playing the game. Uh, guide, guide, guide. There it is. Um, da -da -da -da. Where did it say? It said, it said somewhere that this was one of the first things I should make. Border system. The border system is one of the most important tools that can be crafted. It prevents the player from losing his items. It also allows entities. It also shows entities through wars. Okay, so that's interesting. Very interesting, in fact. How does it do that? I'm not sure. But it says it prevents the player from losing items. All right, so I'm not sure how that exactly works. Um, I think I, yeah, I think I said that I, it might just turn like uh, keep inventory on. I'm not sure if it's that simple though. But that would be nice. I'll I'll definitely keep it on me for now. Um, well, I should have dumped that stuff in a chest, I guess. But well, whatever, we'll, we'll keep going here. Um, I'm really hungry, though. That's the only thing that's still very concerning. Um, let's actually check. Do we have no more dirt? I don't think so. We have stone, soul sand, gravel, and copper. So nothing really, nothing useful. That's just, no gravel as well. Yeah, I don't know. I really don't. <laughs> I don't want to go back down there. Was that a, a Sharka guy? I think so. 
I don't feel like fighting that one. <laughs> or maybe I should. Yeah, let's let's try. I guess. Is it worth it? Yeah, well, we'll, we'll use the durability, whatever. Did it shoot? It didn't. No, it did. Hitting things is so hard. For some reason, I have the worst time in 1.9 just hitting things. I'm flying now. Oh yeah, that's what this does, I forgot. That's not great. Okay. I guess we can try the <laughs> not losing items thing. Let's maybe get away just in case I do <laughs> lose my items so I can recover them. Oh wow. <laughs> it's really hard to hit these for some reason. Like I can't hit them consistently. There we go. Oh, but I do keep my items. All right, so that does work. That's nice. So we at least we know how that works now. <laughs> I guess I'll have to keep it on me. I'm not sure if I have to, but I, but I will anyway. So that's good. That's really nice. So yeah, that was, that's definitely worth uh, the effort of going to find the backroom dust and picking up all the titanium. Uh, somehow, frame rate. It's a lot worse than it was in the first session. Or it feels a lot worse at least. Let's hope it's not too bad. Well, <laughs> it says 500 frames, but it doesn't feel like that. I don't know. It's weird sometimes. I'm pretty sure there's one encounter, like one of those alien spawn things. I'm, I think it was like a wormhole, I think is what it's called uh, in the guide. Um, that makes the game spawn like a lot of blocks, and that that gives me a ton of block lag. So that that's what was happening in the in the dungeon the last time. I'm pretty sure. Killed it. Nice. Did it drop anything? No. Do these guys even drop anything? I'm not even sure if they do. I don't remember this being here. So we maybe I've just missed them, like this this pocket of ores. I don't know. I don't want to go back into that dungeon. I already said that, and I'm already hungry again because I'm sprinting and jumping and fighting. But yeah, that's just how it's going to be. I don't. I don't see a lot of point in trying to um, preserve my hunger here because it'll j just take forever for me to get anywhere, and then. I won't be able to find anything. And then now if the keep inventory doesn't really matter, I can just go until I die, basically. And I won't lose my items, so that's nice. I I see something there and that's but that looks more interesting, so we'll go this way for now. And hopefully we'll find something something useful. Um food <laughs> would be the best. But I will settle for some bones as well so that I can start um actually fighting for a proper weapon. Uh, I think I saw some ores down there. Is it just Endurium? I think so. I'm not even sure yet how all these ores look like. I'm always... Like, I know this is the good stuff for now. And I'm not sure why I keep picking the uh, Xuminium up, but who knows. I might need it at some point. I, I still haven't looked at all the recipes. I know I should, but I, I don't know. Like I don't want to know everything in advance. I just want to play and discover like along the way kind of thing. Uh, this looks interesting. It looks like a... Well, it's different. It's definitely a different kind of structure. It also uses different blocks. So it might be good, it might be bad. We'll see, I guess. Could see some aliens in here, maybe. Something in there? No. Interesting. Or some daylight sensors? Um, some particles here. I'm not sure how I feel about those. <laughs> it 
Let's see, is there like a way in? This looks like it might be something. Oh yeah, that's a way in. Interesting. Ice in here. There's another way in. Let's go through here for now. Okay, just some, some beds, I guess. I don't see a chest, so we'll just leave. Check out this one. What is this? I'm not sure what I'm looking at. I'm not sure if I'm like if I want to break it or not. <laughs> it looks like it might blow up or something. This looks like a like a control room thing. Okay, nothing. It just I don't know. It felt like there might be something hidden. Well, I guess I would have seen. Yeah, I actually want to know what this is. Bookshelf, all right. So I can't interact with that. This is also interesting. I'm not sure this is supposed to be. And this looks scary. Why is it so? I don't know. What is it? It's just stained glass. Hmm. <laughs> Why does it, how does it have that weird effect around it though? I'm not sure. I don't want to break this for now. Let's just let's just keep exploring this area a little bit longer and if I don't find anything we might just start breaking some blocks to see if there's anything. I definitely want some loot from this place. I mean, Feels like there should be some some stuff in here, right? This can't be this can't be just for for show. I want something. Give me something. That looks scary. Yeah, let's leave this room. Ah, it looks really cool. Like I really like the block uh, textures and stuff. Uh, that's not great. What is it? Is it just is it just aliens? Looks like it is. Uh, I don't know what this guy does. I have some armor now, but I, I can't reach in, and I don't have any weapons, so I'm still not comfortable fighting. Um, but actually, fighting might be a way to get a bone, which might be the way to get a weapon, which might be a good idea. I'm also not sure what this is. Like this little thing. And there's another thing over here somewhere. It's not one of those. Yeah, I don't know. Doesn't look like it. Is, this, is it a spider? It kind of moves a little bit like a spider. Maybe it's a spider. I'm not sure. And then this guy. Where's the other? I don't see it anymore. It's over there. I definitely can't take on more than one at a time. There's two of them over here now. But they're not climbing up. Is there no way for them to climb up? Maybe they aren't spiders. <laughs> I'm not sure what I'm fighting here. But if they are spiders, they probably don't drop bones. Well, they, they might still, I don't know. Hit him from here. That's pretty good. Let's do that. <laughs> See if we get anything good. Oh, it drops something. This one too. Um, some alien meat. All right, it's not. Uh, three is not worth it. I think I'm never sure. What was that sound? Oh, I can use this to see. Oh, there's another guy over there. Oh, that's really cool. <laughs> there's this guy and then there's this guy over there. That's really cool. That's with the new spectral arrow thing. That's pretty cool. Oh, well. He looks scary. Come up here. Come on. 
Come up here. What is that? That's crazy. Alien mage. So not only is he an alien, he's also a mage and he's poisoning me. <laughs> I don't know if he also does damage or if it's just a poison. If it's just a poison, I can keep fighting. Alright, killed him. Is that a bone? I think it's a bone. This one guy over there, which I don't know what it is. Like, I, I don't know these, <laughs> these enemies, so I don't know how to fight them. But yeah, this is a bone. I can make a sword, finally. Uh, I should probably just go home and do that, to be honest. But at the same time, I'm so hungry that I might as well just die, right? Like, I don't like that as a mechanic. <laughs> Uh, it makes more sense for me to die than to just not die. <laughs> uh, well, look at this though. What is this? Is this the guy? Oh yeah, this is the guy. Okay, so he's in here. I guess he wasn't one of those spawned guys. What is this? Can I break it? I can. Chris Marine. What is that? Dark Prismarine. Alright. I guess that makes sense. Is he hostile? He probably is, right? But he's not moving. Like, he has a sight line. Oh no, he is. He's a guardian of some sort. <laughs> Alright. Okay. Uh, can I deal with that? right now. I probably can, but there's another cool block up there that I want. I'm almost dead. Let's just go for it. There we go. Alien Lord. Wow. Alright. Uh, no, I think Titanium is the better choice, probably. I'm not sure, actually. No, Titanium is the better material, right? It's the upgrade to Endurium. Let's see how many swords there are. There's the Titanium Sword, Endurium Sword, there's the Uranium stuff that I can't make, Alien Shards. Two Alien Shards make an Alien uh, Sword. That might be even better, right? I'm not sure. I don't have, uh, I mean, the, the the titanium is gold, so gold sword wouldn't be great, but I'm not sure if it, like, it doesn't have to be, like, a gold sword that I get, because it it's not, it's not vanilla crafting anyway. Uh, but the alien shards seem even rarer, so let's just make that, I guess, and hope it's a good one. Iron sword, I, I guess it's alright. Could be worse. Um, yeah, I don't know what the others are, so it's I can't tell. <laughs> it looks cool, that's for sure. <laughs> Alright, I guess that's it for this episode then. I still don't have a food source, but at least we have a, a sword now. That makes me feel a lot more comfortable. Also, the board assistance is really huge, so you should definitely try to make that as soon as possible. Um, if I remember correctly, there was one pocket of the the shards, I forget what they're called, Pecrium, Pecrium shards up there, and then the other one, well, the, cl the next one that I found is up up there, like, where we just started this episode from. You can probably figure it out if you're looking, f you know, for pointers, I guess. Uh, but yeah, you should definitely make that. That's really, that's a huge item. <laughs> the guy didn't lie. I guess that's it for this episode. I hope you guys enjoyed, and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye.